All right, so if it looks like in the interesting period of Mars, not the really boring period of Mars that we are in now, there's a lot of water. And as we saw on Venus, it probably is water led to runaway greenhouse effect. So was it hotter? Is this what was happening in the past of Mars? Well, it sure looks like it had to have had a thicker atmosphere and higher temperatures to yep. have water routine. Um, so this is what people always assume. There was a warm, wet, thick atmosphere period, and then maybe the atmosphere escaped into space. Yep. Mars doesn't have much magnetic field to protect it, and the atmosphere has gone away, and the whole thing froze. Okay. But there is a problem with this. Yep. Uh, it's, it's called the, the um, cold early sun paradox. That's right. Now, as we talked about in the stars course, our sun is actually ramping up in brightness with time. Yes. This is a graph of the energy put out by the sun against time, yep. with today in the middle. And what you can see is that near 4 billion years ago, the sun, because of reasons to do with the nuclear reactions in its core, uh, was about 30% cooler than it is, uh, less, put out less radiation yep. than it does today. Yep. Now, right now, Mars is a lot colder than Earth, so 4 billion years ago, it should be even colder still. So, yeah, if the sun was 30% cooler and Mars is colder than Earth... Would yeah. it be even colder Yeah, then? yeah, shouldn't it have just been frozen? So this is a puzzle. We require Mars to have been much warmer in the past, but according to the Sun, it should have actually been colder in the past. So really, if you're just looking at the Sun, you'd say Mars's period of flowing water is going to be in the future, not in the past. Yeah, that's right. Another couple of billion years from now, when on Earth, the Sun is going to get so hot that it'll start boiling our oceans and turning us into something like Venus. Yeah. But at that point, it might yeah. start melting everything on, on Mars and making it much more pleasant. That's right. So this is a real puzzle. Why was Mars hot enough to have liquid water when it should have been even colder than it is today. It's pretty cold now. Yeah, it is. And presumably it's got something to do with the greenhouse effect. Okay. And uh, people have tried to model this. They've said uh, maybe Mars originally had a lot of carbon dioxide. Okay. And that kept it warm enough that you could have, with a bit of water vapor yep. mixed in with the, the mix, you could have a, a normal hydrological cycle. But one trouble is there don't seem to be many carbonate rocks on Mars. So where did the carbon dioxide go? Carbon dioxide won't escape. It's a pretty heavy molecule. That's right. So it should sink to the surface. On Earth, most of that's gone because it's due to carbonate rocks. There are a few carbonate rocks seen on Mars, but not very much. Maybe they're buried. Maybe yep. they actually are there. We just can't see them. Okay. But it's, it seems very puzzling for if there was carbon dioxide, where's it gone? Yep. But even if you made the, gave it a really thick carbon dioxide atmosphere, that's not enough. Okay. I mean, it can't be that thick because it's Mars is not that dense of gravity. Yep. And given the low radiation, even if you made the atmosphere 100% thick carbon dioxide, it's never going to get you up to the temperatures you need. Exactly. So it's, it's a real puzzle how it got to be that warm. One possibility is you had partially a greenhouse effect from carbon dioxide. Yep. And maybe it got its way into carbonate rocks and maybe those carbonate rocks are just buried so we can't see them. Um, but maybe there was also a lot of sulfur compounds from volcanoes in the atmosphere, which also could have a greenhouse effect. Okay. Um, it's still very hard to make it work. People have tried lots of calculations of this. The trouble is things like sulfur dioxide are very good greenhouse, but they also produce particles in the atmosphere that reflect sunlight. That's right. We know on Earth, when you have big volcanoes, it actually makes the Earth colder, not hotter. Exactly. It's acting as a greenhouse gas and trapping the heat, but it's also preventing the visible light getting in in the first place, and that first effect is bigger. Yep. So... We don't quite know what's happening. Another possibility is that what's happening is you would have got bombardment. Maybe some of these bombardments dumped temporary atmospheres or temporary heat. Yep. And so it could be that maybe Mars was not all the time warm enough for liquid water. But maybe after a few comets that hit it, that had warmed it up temporarily. Yep. And then you've got the rain going and nice flows. And then it all froze again. And then for the next 100 million years, it was frozen solid. Then another big impact warmed it all up. And we know there were plenty of impacts back yep. then. Uh, but really, it's an enigma. Um, Somehow Mars was originally much warmer and wetter than it is today. That seems very clear. Yep. And we don't really know how. So it's we can kind of understand how Venus came about for the most part. We can understand Earth. We can even understand Mercury. Yeah, it's boring. Um, but Mars is the enigma. Yes, and it clearly was warmer and wetter in the past. And we really... It's got to have something to do with more gas. Maybe yeah. impacts helped somehow. Uh, but it's really very hard to make the numbers stack up. Okay.